Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the world of football. The pre-season friendlies were officially back and we had to witness one of the biggest clashes in terms of rivalries in modern football. This time it came from a very different location somewhere in Southeast Asia in Bangkok at the Rajamangala Stadium between Manchester United and Liverpool. Yes, it might be a little awkward to sound as a friendly, but actually if you look at this contest, it is one of the most mouth-watering fixtures which has a lot of stake for both teams. They completely envy each other, they hate each other to the core and you know, it can never be called a friendly in the first place. And let's be honest, on paper, we all know that Liverpool is a much stronger team compared to Manchester United. It is a simple fact because they have a manager who is reputed, who is world class and definitely he has a very illustrious CV. But on the other hand, Manchester United is a team which is like a sinking ship. And to you know revive this ship and make it come back to the top of the ocean, you need to ensure that you are having all the resources intact and you have the kind of manager who can absolutely change its fortunes. And they have a manager in Eric Ten Hag who according to me is doing all the right things in pre-season training. He is, you know, insisting all the players to react quicker, to be sharp on the ball and to make fast decisions and have a very quick transition. And coming up against this Liverpool team, I always knew that it was a very you know, tough match for the Reds because obviously, you know, Manchester United like to play a certain way, but Liverpool are very, very lethal whenever it comes to counter-attacks. And we all knew that Darwin Nunes was about to get a start for Liverpool and it was very exciting to watch him as a young prospect developing into a mature player and wearing the red of Liverpool. And on the other hand, I was really keen to see how the tactics of Eric Ten Hag would shape this Manchester United team. And right in the first outing, in the first 45 minutes, in the first half, Manchester United absolutely blew Liverpool. Yes, my friends, this is a statement which I thought I will never make for the last three or four seasons. It never came out of my mouth because that's how dominant Liverpool have been over recent years. But in this pre-season friendly match, Yes, it was just a friendly, but the way Manchester United were out of the blocks, it was very, very impressive. And I have to give credit to the way Eric Ten Hag has instilled that kind of, you know, optimism, that kind of energy and that kind of drive within this Manchester United players. And everyone knows what it means to wear a Manchester United badge, a club which has a very big heritage of winning silverware, which is used to having success each and every season and that is how you know how much expectations you have from yourself as a player and the fans have so much more expectations out of you and in the first half everyone was talking about you know players like Fred and McTominay are they good enough they were starting the match but you know I was expecting a lot more fluidity especially in the first 10 minutes but it rather came quite quickly rather than expected because Jadon Sancho was once again brilliant. Sometimes we never saw that happening in the last season but somehow under Eric Ten Hag, I don't know what kind of magic has come into him. He finds himself inside the D box and slots the ball into the back of the net and it is 1-0 to Manchester United without even dropping a sweat. And soon after that, I was expecting obviously Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool team the so-called mentality monsters to have a reaction and that kind of reaction never came because whatever they were trying was just you know resulting into nothing because you know players like Rafael Varane who were quite short on confidence last season somehow found their mojo back for this game and under new manager see how suddenly things improve and change for the good and the defense was looking quite solid David De Gea did not have quite many saves to make. I think only one shot from Luis Diaz in the first half was probably the closest which Liverpool came 
and soon after some mix up in the defensive area fred made it 2-0 after a delightful chip from i think 25 yards out to beat allison and after that it was just cruise control mode because this is something which manchester united have been criticized in the past they lack that kind of killer instinct to completely kill off teams but on this occasion with anthony marshall back into the squad they had an attacking lineup they had a focal point on whom they could rely on and even with the trickery of bruno fernandes they were you know raising more questions of the liverpool defense and anthony marshall was at the right place at the right time from a very acute angle he makes it 3-0 for manchester united and going into the break i i'm sure that you know jorgen klopp must be absolutely going berserk he was absolutely raged at half time because this is something which nobody expected manchester united 3 liverpool nil at half time of a pre season friendly this can never happen and you know jorgen klopp was short of words even though it's a friendly he takes every match quite seriously and in the second half i did expect the reaction darwin nunes was trying hard and they made a plethora of changes they brought on mohammed salah virgil van dijk all the key players including thiago alcantara everyone came on to the pitch they were trying their best but somehow manchester united were just stubborn in defense they did not allow anything to go past them in the defensive area and once again some brilliant work on the right hand side by the manchester united winger and young uruguayan facundo pelistri comes on to the pitch and makes it 4-0 in the 77th minute for the red devils and after that it was just one way traffic really because manchester united were just running riot on liverpool they were not allowing the reds to actually calm down and play their fluid football and whenever you you know put pressure on liverpool whenever you are able to you know suffocate them on one zone of the pitch it becomes very difficult for them to come out of the blocks and this is where i feel that all the other teams in the premier league needs to take advantage of liverpool's weaknesses they need to understand which areas of the pitch are they really weak and ensure that they exploit them for their own advantage and even though it was just a friendly it was a 4-0 win a convincing win for manchester united and after that they actually got a trophy for winning that match which is quite hilarious and let's be honest you know liverpool was not looking to actually win but they wanted to get some game time and i won't be surprised if manchester united are still struggling in the premier league because one game does not indicate anything it just indicates that eric ten hag has got what it takes to take this manchester united team forward but will he be able to really do it in the premier league it is still a big question mark because we have not seen many games and as far as liverpool is concerned i am sure they will find their mojo back and definitely they will you know be up for the task once the premier league season starts and even after the game eric ten hag revealed that there are so many mistakes which this manchester united team have made so it is time to work on them correct them and ensure that they are really prepared for the new season and on the other hand jurgen klopp says that you know all the goals which manchester united scored were more like assists which we gave them rather than you know all our defensive mistakes so once again i feel that the score line actually flatters us but let's not get deceived and carried away by this manchester united performance because we all know that they still have so many bottle jobs in this squad who are just not fit enough to wear the manchester united jersey so guys please let me know what are your thoughts about this performance by manchester united do you think this will be a significant step or a major statement which manchester united are making with eric ten hag as their new appointment please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and who do you think was the man of the match for this one if you have watched the match please let me know your thoughts and if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and for regular updates from the world of football please do not forget to subscribe to the football mania so until next time stay safe and take care